Hey guys, Ben with Pathway Alaska here. Just wanted to go over another piece of equipment that I got recently. It's the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL3. It's uh, an amazing tent, as all Big, Net, Big Agnes stuff is. But uh, build as a three person. I'd say it's more like a two plus a dog, really though. Um, it's spacious, but a little tight for three people, I would say. I'll take you guys inside here in a bit and kind of kind of give you an example. But it's got a couple of configurations that you can set this thing up with, which is really nice. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, Big Agnes does a great job with their ingenuity when it comes to all their equipment. So let me kind of take you around and show you guys a little bit of this setup. So Big Agnes suggests when you guy out the lines on this thing that you pull the guy lines back to this center stake right here, as you can see. And they only give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stakes that come with the tent, which I'm kind of disappointed in, but I see I, I see why they do it. They, according to Big Agnes, they wanted to save weight by going with as little stakes as possible. So I'll show you on the other side here that how it should be set up. Now, as you can see, I've got the foot of the tent, the guy lines staked out traditionally to the ground both sides right here, instead of coming back to the center, like Big Agnes suggests. <clears throat> so when I had this tent up here at this exact location, I'm up at Crescent Lake in Cooper Landing, Alaska, and we're known for high winds here. Uh, right out here on the lakefront, the winds were just barreling down the hillside, down these mountains, and came right up onto the shore. And when the gusts would come, I'd say they were at least 50, 60 miles an hour. And when they'd hit the foot of the tent, and if your guy lines are staked together, right here, I'll show you. This is how Big Agnes suggests you set it up. But if your winds are strong enough, and they come and hit your tent, you can see I'm not pushing that hard on this thing. It really adds no support to the tent. I mean, the, the poles and the fly aren't really connected up top here, and everything can just bow right in. And that's what happened when I was here before, is the winds were so strong, the wind, the, the poles just pushed right down, and then they eventually popped back up. So by guying your lines out here to this center stake, it's really not adding any support to your tank. So absolutely get yourself four extra stakes for this thing and bring them out to the bring them out to the corners and get them taut just like you're supposed to cuz now as you can see
it doesn't go anywhere. And another thing is Big Agnes should have added another Velcro strap right here up top as they have right here at the guy point on either side. There's little Velcro strips under here that you can attach the fly to the poles, which they should have done up here too, because you can see the pole doesn't stay attached to the fly there. Is that one. So, just something to be aware of. Another nice feature of this tent is on the doors, what Big Agnes did was allow you to unzip. And there's two tie off points at the end of the doors. And as you can see, this is just paracord, but you can get guy line and you can detach them here and here. And if you hike with trekking poles, you got here, you can stake out your line. this that's your other stake there you go and now you've got yourself a sunshade Like that, which I think is pretty nice. All right, now I'll take you guys inside and show you why I think this is more of a two person tent. So I've got about eight inches here between my pad and the door here's the other bag pretty close together On the other side it's got about another eight inches so really there's not a whole lot of room Fit three people in here would have to be pretty squeezed in. Now, you got. I'm almost 5'10. My head is just now a couple inches away from the head of the tent. Got enough foot room down there, really. But. Steph had her feet down just a little too low last night and the bottom of her bag was touching the tent and it ended up getting 
Just a little damp this morning. It wasn't bad at all. But uh yeah, it's it's a little tight in here for three people. So as you can see that there's two air mattresses. Right there, these are both 20 inch wide. Yep. So as you can see, here's two 20 inch wide air mattresses side by side with barely enough room to fit another one in there. So if there were three people sleeping on a standard 20 inch wide pad, the people on the edge would be up against the sides of the tent and you'd be getting wet. So just be aware and be a little cramped for three people. But for us, two plus a dog, yeah, perfect. And you got storage pocket here. You got storage pocket in each corner. And you get another one right down here. So, with the ability to add some up top. You got two vestibules. One on either side. So. Still pretty happy with this thing though. For an ultralight backpacking tent, this thing I think is three pounds, six ounces. And we like to go with our dogs. So one nice thing about this tent is we ended up adding the tent floor protector to take you back in. Show you right here. You can see it's basically like a waterproof blanket. Nice and durable, so your dogs can get all over your tent floor because this material is pretty darn thin. But this thing comes in at 11 ounces, covers the whole floor space, and clicks in with. You attach these things, to the floor, and it's another big Agnes product. You just snap them in. If I can get it back in place. There we go. And your dogs can come in and out without tearing up this floor. And I still carry the uh, footprint for this thing to protect the bottom. But all said and done. Packed weight with the tent floor protector. The footprint and the tent itself and comes in right at six pounds which is still lighter than my eight pound gore pass three that i used to carry from big agnes but it's a pretty nice tent guys just uh only my second use so after after I get used to this thing a little more, I might do an update on the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL3.